Hello guys, this is Wendell again. So today I'm gonna show you a short video about how to cut a hole in a cylinder or a curvature surface. Let's get it started. We can do a shift A and go to the cylinder. And uh, I'm just gonna put 32 in there. Should be fine with me. And uh, a lot of times people, the beginners, they're trying to use a Boolean tool to kind of use another like circular or another cylinder put it on the surface and then do the using a boolean modifier to get again cutting a bunch of vertices out and then you want to do a a, a proper uh, circle hole but my way is actually is quite easy and simple and you should from from future you should use this way to just do all kind of like shapes and uh, on your curvature surface it's gonna look fantastic and uh, what I'm gonna do first is because this is just a cylinder I didn't apply any modifier on it I need more vertices so for example if I want to adding a, a circle hole in here or at least or ex exclude uh, exclude uh, to get some uh, certain shapes into inside toward inside the cylinder. How can I do that? Well, well, basically I need a, a vertice at least. So what I can do here, I'm actually gonna put a lot of uh, vertices in the cylinder. Then we're gonna do some kind of support shape. So when we actually apply the uh, subsurface modifier, the the shape still retain pretty well. So and uh, let's do. Control two. That's a shortcut key for the cylinder. Um, the shortcut key for subsurface uh, modifiers. So it was the two levels, and then I just did that. So I'm gonna do another support loops for the the top. I'm mean, not gonna go into too much details with that. But basically, if I go to shape smooth, it's kind of pretty good looking uh, cylinder. This is a surface curvature surface. Well, next, if I want to actually dig a hole in here. What we can do here, I'm gonna select the vertice, okay, just the vertice, this vertice only, and I'm gonna uh, hold Shift Control and the B, and they'll kind of bevel a vertice, all right. Uh, you're not bevel bevel a, a, a edge or anything; it's a vertice. So you, and you can scroll your uh, your mouth wheel to actually getting how much vertice you want. So this is the correct amount of what we want, and it's kind of diamond shape or something or star shape. And then we're gonna hit left click, and the next thing we're gonna do right click, and then we're gonna do the loop tool and to do a circle. Now it's a circle. If you don't have the loop tool, you can actually enable that in your edit uh, preferences add-on. Actually, you know, if you type a loop tools, it, it comes with a blender, so you can do that. After that, we got this uh, circle already. So what we're gonna do, we actually wanna kind of scale up a little bit. And then we're gonna do an insert, uh, or you can hit I or E, and hit E, and hit S, can get scaled down a little bit. You can get a, a, another another support loops. But we can see in here there's some something going on with the geometries when you have a surface modifier in here. It's simply because we are this circle is surrounding by n-gongs. So it's, it's the this is kind of n-gong. What we need to do before we actually do more things, we should kind of connect these two to two vertices to hit J to join that to make it like a two uh, to actually getting uh, uh, these two four uh, po uh, polygon no, not polygon sorry the uh, four quads to actually get that done so we're going to do this join these in J and this point J and J okay now we have everything is in qua right of the sh shapes and quads, so this is great. So we actually can do that. Select the center one and hit Control and the number number keys plus, and then we can select that. And then we wanted to extrude inside, so we're gonna hit E and Y, one, and hit Z. You can see that in in the X-ray, and then uh, hit E Y another time, one more time, and then hit E S and ES kind of got that done. So now if we exit out the X-ray mode, you can see it has pretty nice circle holes in, in the curvature surface. 
pretty beautiful and uh, sometimes we're this one i'm probably using a little bit low poly but you can actually getting more uh level on your subsurface uh modifiers but i don't recommend to go to over three like two is perfectly fine otherwise when you render the whole thing and it's going to take a much, much longer time to do so this is pretty much it you can you, you can either like this delete 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 <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's wrong with my tongue today, but you can delete this f surface, um, the face, hit X, hit face, and then you actually have a, a hole in uh, on the cylinder. Okay, so that's how you make it. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and um, if you are really think this this short video is uh, helpful, please uh, hit likes and consider subscribe. I'm just starting my YouTube videos focusing on the Blender and especially. Uh, realistic product rendering uh, if you're really into this yeah please consider subscribe thank you so much have a nice day